Hey guys, make sure you stay until the end. If you make one common mistake, you can spend thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Stay with us and we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Toyota Sienna degeneration right here from year 2011 to year 2020. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the intake air temperature sensor fuse is located. This is known as IAT sensor as well. We'll explain where you can find it, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste your money and time and why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take things completely apart. We show you guys how to do electrical, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. If you have one of those vehicles that we're making videos on, subscribe. We will put quite a few videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. All together guys, on our channels, we have more than 12,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars. Now, also, if you need to buy any parts, to use at a good price, quick shipping, that way guys, you do not waste your money and time, we'll share in our videos where you can buy parts, tools, uh, fuses, relays, because some fuses guys and relays are special, specific, especially for that Toyota Sienna, you have those special fuses right here, uh, you also have that special integration relay right here, and the other relays, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping guys, uh, because sometimes they could be also really hard to find. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So the intake air temperature sensor fuse, where you can expect to find it, we'll demonstrate on this 2012 Toyota Sienna, guys. You have two different fuse boxes in that generation minivan. Today we're working just one. This is the fuse box that's located right under the hood. Go ahead, open the hood facing the engine on the right side. You will find a fuse box under this cover right here. You will need to open it. Once you guys open the cover, you'll get to a fuse box layout that will look just like this one right here. And before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea, guys, to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system i will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way, you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that, we burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW, that cost is $2,000, guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below, which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. Here, okay, let's go ahead by the way and open uh, just the top view of that fuse box so we can clearly see things. And if you come in this row of fuses here, starting from the left, that's fuse 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, fuse number 40. This is super important fuse that you will guys need to check. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.